Databricks versus Snowflake. Which one is better? Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you a few of the key elements that makes Snowflake as well as Databricks such a unique piece of software. And I'm going to compare them and we're going to get to an outcome and we can see which one is the better platform to use. So let us jump straight in. The first thing I want to go ahead and show you is on the Snowflake interface, it was relatively easy to sign up and actually get started. I'm now in the dashboard and on the left hand side, I've got my toolbar. It's very easy to read. It's very easy to see. It's very easy to use. Um, on my right hand side over here, I've got a plus button, which allows me to import or create an SQL worksheet, a Python worksheet. And then I can also just create a folder and that allows me um, to actually organize myself a lot better. Then we have these three dots over here. You can manage your filters. You can create worksheets from an SQL file, and then you can also recover worksheets sheets from dropped user so you also have your search bar over here so it is on the interface very very handy to use and then going over to the left hand side you have all of your details over here in the top you have your account name you have all the roles so you can manage all of that and then also you have your profile which you can go into you can change all the details about your profile there you can manage that you also have support documentation the privacy notice and then you can just sign out right from there so you have all everything in one place over here here again you have all your toolbar items such as your worksheets your dashboards all of your data your marketplace all of your activity you can manage all your administrative stuff here and then they have the help and the support over here as well at the bottom over here you can see that you have some more details and pretty much having a look at what snowflake has to offer in terms of user interface it's very easy to use and very straightforward i'm going now into databricks and i hit the tried Databricks and I went through a very long process to go ahead and start my my account to create my account I'm now you know sort of sitting through the process of importing data and you now have to import your data onto Databricks before you actually can start doing anything on Databricks. Whereas if I compare it now to Snowflake, Snowflake already has opened my account. I can pretty much organize everything and sort of start using the interface before I've even imported any data or before I've even started um, with the actual data, um, I can actually go ahead and I can explore and view a little bit more about snowflake so on the user interface and um, the user friendly front definitely snowflake is a much easier platform to use going in also now to some of the pros on snowflake it is a cloud-based data warehouse it provides scalable and easy to use cloud storage as well as analytics if you have a look over here you can go into data and really it's it's straightforward and it's easy to use and the one nice thing is if you are starting out and you would like something that is going to scale while your business grows and while your capability increases and your skill level then snowflake is a great platform because it allows you to scale your data sets and your databases as you're moving along with your business one of the other nice things about Snowflake is that it is very analytics focused. So it's easy to set up. It's easy to run. And really, in the long run, it's great to maintain for um, data warehousing. It also features a lot of integrations, a lot of apps that you can install here. Um, its functionality can really be extended in terms of what it's capable of doing for your skill set, your skill level, and your expertise. And um, you can really go ahead and start from small and work your way up. One of the things that I want to talk about with Snowflake, however, is it does not provide support for all types of machine learning use cases. It also poses some performance issues when we're having a look, you know, at very large amounts of data. And then it's not really well suited for streaming data use cases. So if those are the things that you're looking to actually achieve 
with Snowflake, you're actually not going to have much success. You're actually going to struggle through it quite a bit. Let's jump over now to Databricks and have a look at a little bit more about what it has to offer and how we can go about it. So first of all, Databricks is more of a comprehensive end-to-end -end and AI-powered platform. It provides storage, it provides analytics, AI workloads, BI, data engineering, data streaming, machine learning, data science. It really, it has tons of wonderful, wonderful features. As you can see, it really has a large array of products. And so you have a lot more to work with and you have a lot more at your disposal. It also really allows you to analyze your data, um, build, deploy, and put machine learning models into production quickly and pretty pro-efficiently, actually. It is more of an engineering-focused um, database handler with more advanced options. If you're looking to work with big data, machine learning, and massive AI workloads, this definitely is going to be a better option for you. Of course, unfortunately, you know, if you don't have the knowledge base to use Databricks, then you will have to hire somebody that does have that knowledge base, and that might now become a bit more of a costly thing. Um, it is a bit more complex to set up and maintain, and, you know, generally the learning curve with having a look at Databricks will be a lot more steep. So you are looking at a longer period of time to try and sort of know how it works and get out what you would like to get out from Databricks. It is definitely not um, entirely um, beginner friendly. However, you can jump in and you, s you can start using it with a basic knowledge base. So going now into how you choose what sort of platform is going to work best for you between Snowflake and Databricks as a data handler. Really, some of the factors that you need to consider is how easy is it to use, right? And having a look at Snowflake, Snowflake is amazing. Databricks, really, there's a lot of complexity to it. So, you know, you will have to spend a little bit more time on it to get to know how to use it properly. One of the other things to look at is performance. Now, if you are looking at high performance software, then Databricks is definitely going to be the winner in this competition because Snowflake, unfortunately, does not have the same capabilities in terms of performance that Databricks does have. Some of the other things is the capabilities that Databricks has and, you know, having a look at some of the products and the solutions and all of the resources that they have to offer. Really, you can do so much more with Databricks than you can with using Snowflake. Some of the other things is the scalability. Now, yes, you may jump into Databricks and think to yourself, right, well, they've got it all. And uh, so what else do I really need? Well, you know, when you're starting out, sometimes too much is overwhelming and it just makes it very difficult for you to actually process it all of the information and all of the um, features. So sometimes having a feature rich piece of software is not a good thing when you're starting out as a data analyst or a data scientist. Rather, you know, making something like Snowflake a little bit better of a choice because it is more user friendly for a beginner and you can um, scale it as your business grows and as you scale up. One of the other things is, you know, having a look at the cost and if you go ahead and you look at the price comparisons it's difficult to compare each one head to head or point to point because really what you're looking at in snowflake is what they offer is completely different to what is offered in databricks so when you're looking for a plan or you're looking at what you're going to be spending you really have to look at what it is that you want and then go ahead and look at those specific items and see what those specific items will cost you on a monthly, on an annual basis, and then make a decision from there. Having a look at it from my personal point of view, Databricks 
really is not within my reach of capability. And if I was just jumping into the game now, Databricks would not be my first choice. So, therefore, Snowflake is the winner of this comparison. Snowflake is nice and easy to use. It's scalable. It's got some decent tools and you can move it up and scale it up with the business that you're in. And as you move forward, you can continue to grow within Snowflake. There we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. If you have any questions about the software that we just covered, please leave it in the comments section below. We'll be sure to answer those questions. We'll see you in another awesome video. Cheers for now.